All right, we'll resume the sessions. For this lecture block, we'll start with uh, Professor Lei Dong from Beijing Institute of Technology. And the talk uh, is about exploring driver genes in glioma with uh, different uh, P10 genotypes to guide precise therapy. So, Professor Dong, on to you. All right. Okay, thank you um, for inviting uh, me to give the talk at this uh, um, meeting since uh, it's academic um, virus uh, issues and uh, we um, can only meet online. And uh, today I, I will talk about uh, um, from the point of uh, the biological uh, issue, I will um, talk about the role of uh, phosphatase uh, pattern in the tumor and uh, it's also related to the um, tumor diagnosis and uh, um, uh, therapy so um, for for this uh, for this uh, section I want to um, just uh, briefly introduce uh, a little bit about uh, the d disease which uh, this uh, phosphate has uh, were related to uh, what kind of diseases um, for this uh, uh, GMML, it's one of the leukemias. The uh, uh, the the tumor genesis uh, uh, may comes from uh, the mutation of one of the um, protein, which called uh, uh, SHIP2. SHIP2 was encoded by one of the gene um, called PTP11, and uh, for, for GMML patient, uh, Roughly 30% of this patient carries the ship 2 uh, mutations, and this will cause the um, the hyperactivation of RAS signaling pathways. Um, for this uh, for this kind of uh, patient, uh, one of the um, the the treatment in um, just uh, in the clinical um, they, they just uh, treat by by just a symptom just. Uh, and to 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 overcome its same symptoms, but uh, there is no specific drugs to targeting um, the the initial cause of the uh, ship two yet. So um, so how this uh, uh, protein can cause this uh, disease? The like in in this uh, uh, picture, so we can see the uh, mutation of ship two can cause the hyperactivation of uh, downstream signaling pathways, which including ROS signaling pathway, and also the PR3K signaling pathways. And this, uh, um, these signaling pathways can, can cause the cells to proliferate, hyperproliferate, and, uh, and can also cause the tumor to uh, metabolize and uh, uh, to to other organs, and th this will uh, lead to uh, the progression of the um, tumors. In this, uh, in uh, in the uh, right, and we can see this. Uh, um, this is uh, how this uh, uh, proteins uh, lo lo looks like, and this including the NSH2 domain, CSH2 domain, and PP domains, and basically. Each domain can function uh, differently. Like a PDP domains uh, functions like uh, to give uh, the downstream uh, subtract and give uh, to uh, to uh, just functions as as, as it uh, uh, phosphatase uh, um, function. And NSH2 domain can selectively uh, can selectively choose what kind of uh, subtract can um, recruit. To uh, to these proteins, and basically you can we can see many um, different kind of uh, subtract can be attracted by these uh, proteins, and uh, these proteins will um, functions to dephosphatase its downstream uh, proteins. So basically, um, in 1917, uh, 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 in two, 2017. Um, one of the um, group published uh, in Nature, and they said uh, uh, the uh, uh, this is the first uh, uh, 
inhibitor was found to targeting the, the SHIP2, which is called SHIP099. And uh, uh, currently, we also uh, keep working to uh, modify these uh, uh, small molecules. And uh, currently, uh, they go to phase two um, clinical trials right now. And this basically gives us an idea that the phosphatase can relate can uh, related to the tumor uh, progression and targeting targeting its target can also prohibit the tumor's progression. And and uh, uh, today I will introduce uh, another phosphatase which we call the Piton Piton um, and SHIP2. The, these two proteins uh, are uh, phosphatase, but um, they, they function differently. SHIP2, as uh, I just uh, um, introduced, it's a tumor uh, progre uh, pro um, promoter, and the PETAN is uh, the uh, tumor uh, um, inhibitor. Basically, uh, the PETAN functions like uh, to uh, inhibit the tumor tumors um, progress. And uh, today I will uh, introduce from uh, from the uh, this three uh, aspects, like how this pitons fine and its structure, and also the uh, pitons subtract and its function and current update. And how this uh, um, piton was um, found, the piton uh, phosphatase was uh, basically uh, encoded uh, by the chrom chromosome, the, the human chromosome uh, 10 at Q23 um, uh, uh, locations. And uh, um, one of the, uh, how we, uh, this is how this uh, patterns uh, localized in human uh, cr chromosome. It's like uh, at, at uh, chromosome 10. And uh, this, uh, this genes was encoded uh, um, 403 amino acid. And this is uh, how this pitons looks like. They including um, the PTP domain just similar to SHIP2 and it's also C C2 domain and uh, PDZ domain. Uh, from this uh, structure, so we can also predict uh, this uh, piton, uh, PDP domain is uh, how the uh, enzyme activity functions and uh, C2 domain can find and can localize which substrate can be attracted and PDZ domain man many functions like uh, uh, an anchor to the um, se uh, cell membranes. So this is also like uh, uh, localized at uh, uh, cell membranes. So once the PDZ domain was uh, uh, deleted and this pattern can uh, can can move around in the uh, cell um, uh, cytoplasma. Okay, so uh, so just just uh, just uh, give uh, um, people just the general idea how this uh, pattern as a tumor suppressor. This uh, this person um, peers. Basically, he gave a, a um, review article at 2012 at uh, Nature Cell Biology. It's included um, what the pattern structure looks like, as I just uh, uh, mentioned before, and how this pattern looks like. Um, looks like at the proteins level, and basically this pattern, and also similar to other phosphatases like PTP. 1B and VHPR, similar. Uh, they look very similarly, but they they may uh, they may uh, just uh, different because of uh, the C2 domain and the CTL domain. And this uh, give uh, uh, in this review is also give the pattern how how its functions, where, uh, which amino acid was uh, critical for its. Uh, uh, and enzyme activities. So next, uh, I want to give uh, um, people how this pattern um, can, uh, what kind of uh, abstract, 
subtract uh, the pattern can attract. And uh, once the uh, different subtract may also um, reflect the different functions. So pattern um, can um, can appears in almost every cells in the uh, uh, in human bodies. It's uh, many f um, functions as a, a tumor suppressor, and it also can uh, it appears in the cytoplasma and also in the nucleus. Uh, so uh, and this patterns can active uh, like uh, um, in the cell membranes and it's a negative regulator of a PR3K active uh, signaling pathways. This is op um, opposite from uh, SHIP2. SHIP2 is a um, positive regulator of PR3K signaling pathways. And Python can also maintain the DNA uh, stabilities. So in, in the humans, this is like uh, one of the cells. These cells from the human bodies, and these cells can also um, divided into cytoplasmic and the nucleus. And the pattern appears in both locations, and it, this is a negatively regulated PR3K signaling pathway. And it can also, in the nucleus, it can also functions differently. Many state, um, many functions as the chromosome int uh, integrity and tumor suppressors. These are uh, um, a specifically subtract which can um, be attracted by by patterns. So uh, from here, basically give uh, people and an general ideas. This is a uh, uh, the outside of the uh, cells. The outside of the cells they have uh, uh, receptors like a growth receptor, and and uh, this growth receptor can um, can uh, response to outside uh, like a growth factor, like um, like a, um, ho hormones and ligands. And once uh, they give the signals to the uh, the receptor, and this receptor can recruit can recruit this like a uh, uh, pattern and uh, other, uh, and also can be uh, ship ship too. And this uh, this kind of uh, Phosphatase can be re recruited and uh, activated uh, downstream pathways. And the pattern, pattern is a negative regulator. They give, uh, they, uh, they can dephosphatase PIP3 to PIP2, which can inhibit the PI3 uh, pathways. This is many the pattern uh, works like. And uh, uh, dur during, uh, during the, this process, this can inhibit the up, up, um, upstream signaling pathway, which can inhibit the cells progression and, uh, uh, and, and, and differentiations. So uh, during this, uh, it, it's can, once the AKT signaling pathway was activated, this can also uh, related to cell death and survival and cell proliferation. Uh, it says cetera from a different uh, signaling pathways. And uh, in this uh, in this uh, slide, it shows uh, the pattern. Uh, once the pattern goes into the nucleus, the pattern can act um, can interact with different subtract like p53 and IPC, uh, etc. Many functions at uh, the um, chromosome uh, stability and, say, and can inhibit uh, cell cell death and DNA, uh, DNA re repair. Um, per, uh, per, uh, uh, just uh, promote promote cell death and DNA repair. So uh, this is uh, the general uh, ideas about the the pattern and how this pattern was uh, regulated, and this is uh, what we. Uh, try uh, try try to uh, try to understand. So in two thousand seven, basically the pattern many functions at the cytoplasma, and and how this pattern goes into the nucleus. In this uh, in this paper, 
published in cells. And this uh, um, person identified uh, one of the um, regulator, which called a, um, is a mo modifier. And they can add, they can add piton with a, with a UB uh, attached to this piton. Once the piton were attached with one of the UB, and this can um, lead this piton go into the nucleus and functions um, at uh, the chromosome state integrity uh, player. But but this uh, this mo modifier can also can also give the piton um, poly UB. Once the poly UB was attached, this will will lead the piton goes into the um, proteasome uh, and then degraded the, uh, the piton. So in this paper, is uh, first identified that piton was uh, or can be uh, modified with a mono UB and it can go into the nucleus. So once into the uh, 2011, and this piton uh, was further identified and they give uh, the piton different mutations like a piton white wild type and uh, wild type and a piton um, this is a carried one of the mutations and th this can lead um, they um, basically said uh, how um, the piton once the piton go into the nu nucleus and uh, they functions through apc cdh uh, CDH1 signal pass one functions as a tumor suppressor, etc. And the uh, nuclear piton uh, in once goes to uh, 2013, and uh, th this uh, group published in the science it says uh, the nuclear piton controls DNA repair and sensitivity to uh, genome tox toxic stress. Basically identified that the piton uh, have roles in the uh, nucleus. Uh, it's very interesting, and uh, uh, once into the 2018, it's also the same person, its peers, and uh, he published another uh, review article in Nature Cell Biology. Instead of of he. Uh, just summarize the, what the piton looks like and uh, what the uh, molecule um, different structures. He also summarized how this piton functions into the nucleus and functions um, um, different from the cytoplasma. And basically, they, they work together as, as, as a tumor suppressor. So this is, a, a, so how, once we know how this piton was mo modified and uh, how uh, regulated, and uh, we can identify the, um, the uh, therapeutic effect uh, by targeting, um, by protecting the, the piton in, in, in cells. So this is the current uh, how many mutations in the piton was found in human diseases. Basically, once most of these mutations and um, will, will, will cause the loss of function of piton that can lead to the um, tumors. And current, uh, uh, mo um, how this piton was uh, modified and uh, they can be phosphorylated and ubiquinylated uh, and oxidative uh, and isolation and protein cl uh, cleave can be modified by these uh, uh, modifications. Uh, this is a um, this is a one of the the mo mo uh, modification of the piton can um, can be regulated by w WWP2 and, and this is a E3 uh, ligase and so ba ba basically just like I just mentioned once the piton was uh, poly ubiquinylated. This will lead piton to degradation. So he, in this article, they said they identified WWP2 is another um, uh, Israel ligase can can greatly in, uh, increase the piton's level in cells 
once we uh, knock out the WW key two. This is a uh, this is a, another mo mo modification e issue. And uh, another group said, uh, just uh, the the pattern can be also deubiquitized in this this paper. Basically, deubiquitized can protect this pattern, uh, and and uh, uh, ubiquitized pattern can just uh, degrade the pattern. This is like uh, uh, Yin Yang uh, just a theory which published. Uh, in cell, uh, cell biology in, in, 19, uh, in 2015. This is a very interesting uh, story. And uh, uh, basically, this pattern is very, since we know it's a tumor suppressor, that's, that, that's, that, that is why we want to protect the, this pattern in the, in the cells. And this, uh, how we protect this pattern, this can be modified by various uh, modifications. And uh, ubiquitization is one of the key modifi uh, modifier of the pattern. That it can be mono ubiquitization and go into the nucleus. It can also be poly ubiquitization and then uh, goes to the proteasome for degradation. And this will lead to the tumor genesis. That's why we want to identify um, the key uh, ubiquitization enzyme, which uh, once we targeting this uh, E3 ligase, and we can prohibit the tumor genesis. Um, so by, uh, by doing that, and uh, uh, we, we want to choose uh, the tumor um, models. And uh, in the 2013, and we found that the, uh, the glioblastoma is one of the very serious uh, tumors, and these tumors are currently in clinical, we don't have even um, drug. We, uh, we, we have only one drug that's called TMZ, but the TMZ uh, use cannot and uh, can only improve two months people's survival. That's basically uh, useless uh, in the clinical um, stage. And uh, in this paper published in Cell, and they said uh, uh, the, this kind of tumors carries 30% of uh, pattern mutations. And basically, the pattern mutation, like I just uh, mentioned, uh, happens in many kinds of tumors. But this kind of tumor carries 30% of the pattern uh, mutation. That's very uh, serious. And uh, once we analyze the signaling pathways, we can also see the PR3K signaling pathway. And many of the these proteins was uh, caused to PR3K signaling pathway. And this pathway is the second secondary hyperactivation in the glioblastoma. So, uh, so from uh, the, the general idea, we, we, we we should know that pattern is uh, um, very uh, the key we should uh, um, emphasize in this kind of uh, tumor. And first, we find uh, uh, we uh, we we analyze the uh, the TCGA database, which are, uh, from uh, uh, we get some patient sample and, and we we stand HE and also find uh, one of the key um, uh, called a SMOF one. SMOF1 was hyperactivated in the GBM patient. And once we see the downstream um, signal pathway, so we can see the P, uh, PS6K, uh, which are also related to the downstream patterns uh, uh, su uh, subtract. So this is hyperactivated. Basically, we should give um, people the general idea this is SMOF1 is Peton's E3 ligase. Once this is hyperactivated, the Peton will decrease. Uh, will decrease. The signal pathway with hyperactivation. This is uh, this is uh, this is proved our hypothesis. And we also analyzed the, the TCGA GBM uh, dataset, and we found that the in the Peton Y type group 
the glioblastoma, this patient, and we divided uh, the PIT and Y type group into the SMOF1 high and the SMOF1 low group. And we can see uh, this can, SMOF1 high group can significantly um, and decrease the pe uh, people's uh, survival. And this can be an independent uh, um, uh, prognostic uh, in indicator. In this uh, very serious uh, glioblastoma, and we only find that this morph one is the only uh, key um, uh, prognostic uh, um, factors. That that's a uh, that's uh, very uh, important, and we can see this morph one and morph low the downstream pathways. These are very uh, differently. And from the P and Y type groups, and we also can see the cell cycle and the ubiquitin, uh, ubiquitin mediated protein uh, was hyperactivated in uh, in this group from the small one high uh, high group. And uh, uh, from the the uh, previous hypothesis, we wanna uh, just uh, using the um, cellular and the molecular um, ways to to verify whether this small one can really uh, degraded pitin and also dependent on pitin phosphatase activities. And from these uh, cell lines, uh, except the first one, the first one is the normal cells, uh, the normal, uh, the normal uh, uh, cells, and the, all the rest are glioma uh, blastoma cells. And you, uh, you can see all the glioblastoma cells were all were Strongly hyperactivate, um, strongly express uh, the SMOF1, and uh, they carry it differently with the uh, pitin. And they, this is a pitin uh, deleted cells, and also this uh, a pitin deleted cells. They by targeting SMOF1 can, can prohibit the cells uh, progression. We can see the less colony. And a relatively less colonies, and can three, also three minutes left. Okay, can also decrease the cells, and this is uh, the uh, the cell per uh, cell proliferation. We can also see the the decrease. That's basically give us an idea. Smooth, um, by targeting smooth one can also uh, can pro, uh, can protect the pitin and give us uh, the therapeutic effect. And this is uh, the starvation um, uh, experiment, and we want to try how the signaling was uh, affected. And uh, we give the uh, EGF, like uh, the in initial I told, we, we give the factors stimulation, and then we can see hyperactivation of uh, phosphoagat, uh, etc. By targeting small one, and this, uh, this uh, um, hyperactivation was uh, prohibited. And this is uh, Directly evidence shows that SMOF1 can interact and uh, targeting pitons can directly interact with the pitin and uh, give the pitin ubiquitin. And this is uh, what the pitin uh, ubiquitin looks like, can di directly interact. And uh, this can, per uh, hyperactivation, uh, SMOF1 can, uh, can degrade the pitin fa faster. And this is also the direct evidence. And this is uh, basically the uh, cell cycle, etc. And I also give um, the, the same um, conclusion. And we then give uh, the um, drug e experiment, and we want to see whether this can uh, really prohibit, uh, prohibit the tumor growth. And we give the remission and targeting small fine together. This can uh, this can prohibit uh, the tumor progression very uh, significantly. And this is how this tumor functions lo looks like. This is HE, and uh, you can see the, the tumor grows um, without targeting, they both, uh, it's very serious. And by targeting small and rhymycin, and the tumor can, uh, can barely grow. This is how the for resonance lo looks like.
All right, and, and this is basically how this uh, uh, works. And this small fan can give the piton uh, the poly ubiquitin and degraded the piton uh, for uh, for uh, but by targeting this uh, small fan, this can protect the piton and the functions at the, the tumor suppressor. Okay, I think uh, uh, I can be uh, stop uh, here. And, uh, okay. Okay. Thank you, Professor Dong, for the very interesting talk. Well, we might have time for.